Right then, I seem to have picked up quite a few um, hydroponic subscribers uh, when I did my last video on hydroponics. So uh, this is a little hydroponics update for those of you who may be interested. Walk this way. Got the first seedling in there and another one in there. Uh, this is one I put in this morning that's just coming up. And there's a few others in there that are just starting to show through, as you can see. That one there. In fact, that one's come along um, in the last hour. That's interesting. And another one there, and one there. Now, what I have done is um, originally I was using this gutter, um, the leaf guard on the guttering. Uh, I, I've actually scrapped that. Um, it's good. It's good at the moment when there are no plants. But what I'm now using is uh, these blocks of. I'll show you the box. Um, oh, don't. So my camera's on the tripod at the moment, so uh, it's, uh, what's the name? Now, what, what I went out and bought a load of these things. These are hydroponic blocks, and they sit in the channel like that, and obviously draw up the water and feed it to the um, little plants. Right then. Um, what I've got, I've got a load of these little plugs. Now, these are, you buy them in uh, packs of, well, big sheets like this and uh, you take them out and what you do is you, or well, this is what I've been doing, whether it's the, exactly the right way to do it or not, I don't know, but um, what I've been doing is soaking them with water and then just squeezing off uh, the, the excess water. And then I've got, um, oh, I've got two little seeds there. I've just basically got a little cocktail stick, sharp at one end, flat at the other. And I make a little hole, in fact I do it with a flat end, like so, uh, in the middle of the block, just about a centimetre. Uh, just, just, just under half an inch, and then um, where it's where the cocktail stick is wet, it should actually be able to pick up the seed. Um, there we go. It's actually got a little. Uh, that's a basil seed, and you just literally drop the seed down into there, like so. Cover it over, and then that goes into. This is where I'm propagating them. This is basically um, a food container with a lid. And um, what I'm doing, I'm not watering them or anything like that. I'm just purely relying on the moisture that I've that I initially put into these blocks. And I put the lid on, and I'm just sitting them on the windowsill. And uh, hopefully, well, I mean, that's how I managed to propagate all of these other ones. Now, I have managed to get hold of some nutrients. Uh, what I used was, uh, well, there are three different types. There's this one called Ionic. You can't see a thing, can you? Let me try here. Some better light. There's this one called Ionic Nutrient Solution, that's a one litre bottle, and that's the, the, the Grow. And then you've got another one apparently called the Bloom, uh, which you put in after everything's grown, it makes it bloom. And then there's the Boost, and I'm assuming, because I haven't done my homework on these, but I'm assuming that, um, there you go, Boost can be used with Ionic Bloom or with any good quality Bloom nutrient, and it makes things bloom. I presume, I don't know. Um, just finally got one of these, which is um, aquarium air pump, and two, it's a, it's a twin outlet, and two four inch um, aquarium uh, air stones. I've got two of those there. I'm just waiting for the, the piping to arrive, and then I'm gonna set that up into the reservoir. So, it's all looking quite good at the moment. Obviously, as, as the seedlings uh, progress, then obviously I'm gonna be filling up uh, these two, which are at the moment just empty. So, there we go. Right, that was just a really quick update on the hydroponics. Um, again, all, thanks ever so much to everybody who uh, gave me lots of advice and information. I've actually uh, worked with it. I've, I've um, found it extremely useful. And obviously, if you feel a need to uh, pass on any more of your uh, very useful knowledge then by all means please do in the notes below. Have a great rest of the day guys and I will see you soon.